I recently had a friend of mine who wanted me to print this Super Mario Bros. Pixel Star Tree Topper. The model currently only has the eyes on one side, and he wanted them on both sides. So today, we're going to drop this into Tinkercad, and I will show you exactly how to mirror that so we can make it so the eyes are on both sides. The licensing on this allows it to be adapted and modified as long as we share it in the same way it was shared licensed before. So off we go to mixing this up and making it happen. If you don't have a Tinkercad account, they're free to use. Just go to tinkercad.com and sign up. Once you're in there, go into 3D Designs and begin with your new design. We then need to import the model. We can choose the file from the STL that we downloaded from Thingiverse. In order to make the calculations easy, we're going to modify the height, so that way the math is simple when we need to divide this model in half. Select Import, and the file will show up onto the work plane. From here, we are going to cut the model in half. Choose the rectangle shape, and make sure you select the one that is whole. Resize the rectangle to encompass the entire star. We made this model 30 millimeters tall, so resize this model to be 15. When we group these two shapes together, it will splice this model perfectly in half. Highlight both of them and select the group. Now copy and paste the top part of this star. This will allow us to use this mirror function to have the eyes on both the top and the bottom. Now that we have both the top and the bottom with eyes on it, we need to make sure that they are aligned properly. Begin by highlighting both pieces and then choosing the Align tool. This brings up a group of tabs we can choose from to align our tools. Because these are mirror images of each other, you should be able to select any of them and they will be aligned perfectly. From there, we'll drop down the model exactly 15 millimeters. This will match up with the part of the model that we took out earlier. Tinkercad will actually leave a seam if you do not overlap these pieces just a little bit. I always bump it by 0 0.01. This allows both sides of the model to overlap and there's no seam where the piece could be printed wrong and potentially break apart easily. All we have left to do is group it together and ta-da, you have your perfect mirrored model. Eyes are on both top and the bottom. Because of how small that gap is, you should not need any supports when printing this, and it'll turn out great. From here, rename your file, export it, and then open it up in your favorite slicer. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more like it, please like and subscribe below. Thanks for hanging out, and my name is 3D Hack.